What's up all you Skyrim fans? I can't believe after all this time I am back playing Skyrim. Been playing Skyrim since it came out originally back in November 11th of 2000 whatever. 10 years ago it's been so long. The anniversary edition. I was not sure if I was going to get the anniversary edition. But I went ahead and got it because I wanted to check out the fishing. So let me show you this great hidden fishing location in Skyrim. So I will say this guys. The notes, the books in Skyrim, especially in the Anniversary Edition, they will tell you clues and hidden locations that you can go to to find some fish and other objects. So let's get started with this great hidden location for some underground fishing. So swims in deep water will give you a task to catch some underground fish, some dire fish, glass catfish, tripod, spider fish, and a vampire fish, which these fish can be caught on the surface. But let's take a look at the book in the back of Riften Fishery. So if we go ahead and read the Fishing Mastery Volume 4, written by Swim in the Deep Water. Let's check out one of these great locations that he mentions in the book. So like I said, even if you open the book, it will complete the optional objective. But let's take some time to read the book and we're going to go explore one of these caves. So today we're going to take a look at the Ember Shard Mine near the sleepy town of Riverwood. So go ahead and fast travel to this location. Clear the mine if you haven't already. There's a little bridge you have to open up. The little lever to drop the bridge is right around the corner. So I did explore this first little area of water, but we need to go deeper into the mine. A little further back, you're gonna find a fishing supply location. I couldn't believe there's a bucket of fish right next to the water underground. So just a little further past these gel cells, let's take a look at the great, beautiful location underground, a big old waterfall. And here we go, right here, there's some fishing supplies. So let me get out my rod and reel and see what's in the water. Hopefully we get some catfish. I love catching some catfish. So I do have the nice fishing pole that Swim in Deep Water gave me, which does allow, increases your chances of catching a bigger fish. And there's a glass catfish. All right, guys. So let's see what else we catch in here. Not much to fishing in Skyrim. You basically just use the supplies, cast out. When you start feeling a little tug and you get a little splash, just press A on the Xbox and you'll pick up the fish. So there's a dive fish added. So we got almost all the fish that swim in deep water requested for this challenge. Let's see what else we get. So I did swim around in the water and surprisingly I didn't see a single fish. Vampire fish, all right, so we on a roll. Let's see if we can catch one more fish. So I do like to swim around in the water at all these fishing locations and see if I can just catch a fish with my hands. Here's another glass fish, but like I said, in this spot, I didn't see a single fish in the water that I can catch with my bare hands. I had to catch them all on the fishing pole. Well, thanks for joining me on this hidden location in Skyrim where you can catch some fish. Stay tuned to the channel for some more Skyrim fishing and other quests and adventures.